thousand ones, empaths, when you've been entangled with a narcissist, you know, your mind can run wild. Especially after the relationship comes to a close. You can get real ill feelings, malice, hatred, running through the core of your spirit. But I want you to try and not resort to doing anything in retaliation to the narcissist. Because honestly, they really do strike a chord with us. And when an empath turns dark, they can go dark if they want to. But we can go dark in another way. It doesn't necessarily have to resort to violence or anger or malice, like I said, or hatred. We don't need to resort to those types of feelings. Um, the best revenge on a narcissist is actually letting go and moving on with your life. Um, this is what destroys the narcissist to a core. Because you've got to understand, understand your attachment to the narcissist at first. There's some form of attachment. It's more of a healthy attachment on your side, right? This was the person that you loved or even if it was a friend, you still have love for them or family member, you still have love for them, right? Um, it's more of a healthy attachment on your side. They're the one that contorted it to be an unhealthy obsession. And it's an unhealthy obsession on their side. So, during the course of a narcissistic relationship, it usually results in them discarding or becoming so volatile and abusive that you literally cannot take no more and you put your foot down and you cut them out of your life. But, they need us more than we need them, right? They need us more than we need them. That's what you have to know. So if you can understand that you letting go of this cord, that literally is a, there is a soul tie, that, especially romantically, there is a soul tie that binds you two together. If you're able to let go of this soul tie, untangle yourself from it, disconnect from the trauma bond and literally get on with your life so let go and move on and when I mean move on I don't necessarily mean move on with a new partner or you know rush out there to meet new people or anything like that I'm not talking about that when I mean move on I mean realize that this person is toxic, this person is a dusty weirdo, and you shouldn't give them the time of day, right? That's what I mean by letting go and moving on. And this is what triggers them to become desperate. This is what triggers them to become resentful, bitter, twisted, having malice, hatred. All of those things that I told you not to do, they'll, they will do. It's in their nature, right? Especially when they don't get their own way. Um, please press the like and the subscribe button. Help your brother out. It will take two seconds of your time. Thank you. <clears throat> um, yeah. Just focusing on you. Focusing on your life. Focusing on how you can better your life and your world around you. And, you know, really letting go because... They can they can stay in our minds for some time, you know, being entangled with a narcissist. For me, it did take me a period of time. I, I got, I, very soon on, I will admit, I kind of didn't want them back because how bad they treated me. Very soon on, I, I didn't want them back. But I still felt like I wanted to answers to the questions that I had. And... A bit shortly after that, I come to realise they're not going to be able to give me those answers that I need. They're not going to give me the closure that I need. And when I saw, because I was still being an idiot, I shouldn't self-deprecate, but I was still being silly. 
and I was looking at their social media and it was dead quiet. And then one day I saw them with the new supply. And it was at that moment, that precise moment that I saw them with the new supply. I was like, oh gosh, they've downgraded. And they done something in the photo, which was an indirect towards me, right? And I realized that they was directing their actions towards me and there was a picture of them kissing the beard of the nas of their new supply right and the thing is i don't i can't grow a beard right or a proper beard right it's just one of those things and i don't care about it but they was they was sh- they was doing that specifically on their profile to 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 try and put a dig in my rib like like it was going to affect me and it didn't affect me. I thought, oh my God, you're orientating your your Facebook towards me. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. They 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 done they done things um on their Facebook. They had my clothes, pictures of my clothes. There was a fire in England, a really bad fire, and a lot of people died in this tower block because of the cladding. Um and a lot of people died. And this was around the time it was happening and they took a photo of my clothes and then wrote a little caption on the photo and said, oh, I'm going to donate these to the victims of the fire and da, 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 da. And, they, and they purely just lied on their on their social media. And this is what I'm trying to say. They, they, they totally changed their whole socials to do with me. And when I meant it went quiet, I meant it went quiet with new suppliers as such. But they literally orientated their whole social media to do with me. And these things made me basically realize that this person is not who I thought they were. And, I, you know, the love that I thought I had for them very quickly went, you know. And it turned into hatred. Um, it did turn into wanting revenge. But then... I kind of, because of my relationship with God, and maybe you don't believe in God, but I just trust in the plan of the universe or God or whatever you want to call it. There's something beyond our, there's a higher intelligence out there and I trusted in that. And this is, it allowed me to let go and move on, right? And... I had I had numerous people around me that I could have potentially moved on with at the time as well. I met a few people. We exchanged numbers. But I saw toxic traits in those people as well. And I wasn't fully healed like I am now. So I'm glad I didn't partake in those relationships. And this is the thing. The narcissist isn't healed from your relationship either. And they rush out there with these new supplies. Trust me, it's, it's, it's fireworks. And I don't mean fireworks in a good way. That's probably, the bad, that's probably a bad terminology I use there. It is, it's catastrophic, you know, the results of going from one relationship to another relationship to another relationship. It is catastrophic. You, they can't process it, you know. They, they're processing all these emotions. They've got all of these sexual soul ties. They got all this DNA of other people inside them. They're sleeping with these numerous people. It's disgusting. It's absolutely disgusting and vile. And you can find yourself caught up in that cycle after a narcissistic relationship because you feel like you need to go out there and sleep with someone to move on and da 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 da. Nah, it's it's not the case because, you know, by being intimate with people, you you develop soul ties of everyone you're intimate with, and it's very it's it's dangerous territory so you know if you do feel like you need to move on with someone I w- i'd say if you want to do that that's fine you know if you want to move on and be intimate with someone just to release some aggression or whatever you want to release like some release the, you know i can understand that way of thinking because you you don't want your last intimate partner to be the narcissist and i totally understand that and i've been through that myself right but i don't suggest 
being involved into a proper f formatted relationship. And that's not my idea of moving on. My idea of moving on is, um, pardon me, is um, literally focusing on your life, focusing on your healing and focusing on your healing journey and understanding that let go don't hold on to don't hold on to them don't hold on to the to the thing that you used to have what you used to have is gone they destroyed it everything that you used to have that you used to share that bond you used to share they destroyed it and the narcissist in my life destroyed the bond that we shared we did have they they do miss our bond you've got to understand that that's one thing they do miss they do miss our bond when they move forward with these other supplies and there was a bond that me and the narcissist shared, and I will admit that, but they destroyed it, and they were the one that was toxic, and they're the ones that actually ruined everything that I was trying to build foundations for. And with my love, loyalty, and truth, I was building solid foundations. I might not have been building materialistic foundations as such, but I used to work, I used to try my best, and... I was building foundations of a relationship that need to be there with truth, love, honesty, purity. And I was doing that all on my part. And I'm sure you were doing that all on your part as well. And that's why I say that our side of the attachment that we have is kind of a healthy attachment that we do have to them. They're the ones that try to make us have an unhealthy obsession because they have an unhealthy obsession with us. And they project their feelings of this unhealthy obsession onto us. So what I will say, I know I've digressed a little bit in this, on, on this video today, but just try to understand that the best revenge you can have on a narcissist is letting go and moving on. I know it might not be what you wanted to hear and you're thinking that there's a revenge in another way, but honestly, moving on, letting go is a brutal blow to a narcissist. It's a real brutal blow. So anyway, thank you for watching today. Please press the like and the subscribe button. If you would like to donate to the channel, you can find the link in the description box. And if you would like a one-to-one -one session with myself, you can also find the link in the description box. Currently, I have the secondary channel, the spiritual channel. If you want to check that out, the link for that channel is also in the description box. So anyway, I'll be back with another video soon. Peace.